this block, we are going to make some pinwheels. And you're gonna sew eight sets of a light gray and a black triangle together from point to point. And the nice thing about these three cut squares for you, you see this point, you're gonna sew from point to point, you will have a perfect one quarter inch seam. And then we are gonna press all of these seams towards the black. Set your seam. <laughs> I have no thumbnail, You, I'm just gonna say. <laughs> it's called quarantine manicure. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to take two of these and sew them together. So they're going to be like this, and what you want to make sure is that you have the point coming towards the center like that. And we're going to turn them like this, and I like to sew from the end that does not have the seams, and I'll show you why. So we're going to start sewing, and then I'm going to use my trusty stiletto, and I'm going to make sure that these seams marry really well. I'm going to hold it until it gets the end here. Now for this particular one, I like to press my seams open because if you don't, you're going to have a really big bulge in the middle. And so with pinwheels, I like to press them open and it makes it much easier when you go to finish them. Look at that pretty point. Uh -huh. Okay, so now we have this set. We're gonna sew two of these sets together to make the square of the pinwheel. So I have two sets right here. And again, you wanna make sure that all of your blacks are pointing towards the center. And because I'm not pinning, I'm just gonna make sure that these are totally right together. The nice thing is that if I sewed correctly, they should just totally match because of the precise cutting of the tackle. So again, I'm gonna sew this, or iron this seam open also. and flat and then when you turn it you can feel here when you do your own there's no bulky middle but look at those pretty points this is the accuracy of the accu quilt and the beautiful one quarter inch seam that I get from my M7 of course okay our next step is we are going to sew a pinwheel to one of the large squares so we're going to sew our second one we need two of those. I'm gonna make sure that I hold these at the exact same right down here. These squares are going to be ironed towards the large square. Again, that helps reduce all of the bulk. Press it like that. So we're just about done. What we're going to do is we have two rectangle units. So we're going to sew them like this. And the only place you have to worry about marrying is right. Okay, so we're going to put these two units together and we're gonna lay them like this, and the only place we need to worry about marrying is right there in the center. So we're gonna start this. And again, I'm gonna use my stiletto where I want to make sure they marry really nice, and I'm gonna make sure it's there. And again, on the end here. iron this one we're going to get a really nice pinwheel in the center I'm gonna get this 
I'm going to fold it like this. This one will press this direction. And this one will press this direction. And you can see our nice little pinwheel. And we have some strings to cut here. But when we turn it over on the other side, you will see how nice and flat this gets. Perfect square. <laughs> I didn't marry it as nice 